Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're going to give you a quick, uh, very basic guided tour. Uh, this is an Audi S4. Uh, this is the B6, B7 model. This particular one's B6. Uh, this is the one that has the BBK engine, uh, 4.2 V8. And this is what they look like with the engine removed. Uh, we've just uh, filmed a, a full engine removal video. Uh, so we'll add links for that uh, below if that's something that might be of interest to you. Uh, what we do is we thought you'd uh, sh kind of show you around the engine bay here, point out some of the kind of main components. Uh, might be quite useful for you if you've got to do any work on your car. Or if you're a bit of an Audi geek, it might just be of a general interest. So let's take a look. Okay, starting down in the uh, corner here. Uh, obviously we've got the uh, the intercooler. Uh, I've got an intercooler on, on both sides. Uh, on the B6, most B7. Some B7s only have one on the right hand side, the, uh, this side here. Uh, behind that uh, we can see that's the, actually the aircon uh, canister there, that aluminium uh, round canister there. Uh, this blue uh, section right here, uh, this is a major part of the uh, chassis construction. This actually attaches onto the uh, the crash bar uh, for your front bumper. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Looking down here, uh, that's the uh, bracket there. That's where the engine mount sits. Actually, your engine mount's got a little uh, a thread on it that passes through that hole. The engine mount sits on that and then he's bolted on uh, from the underneath. Uh, so that's that there. Also down in that corner, uh, we've got uh, <coughs> this round circle you can see here. That's kind of the, uh, the end of your secondary uh, air pump. Uh, so that uh, obviously circulates, it helps circulate the air uh, throughout the car. You can see the uh, top of it uh, just about down in there as well. <clears throat> uh, here's your main uh, two um, uh, uh, lines for your aircon. Just lift that out of the way a little bit. You can see those uh, very clearly there. And the uh, what else we got here? These are the fuel lines uh, that come up here. I've just tucked them in, in down the back there. Uh, but here's where the fuel lines come in and come, come up here. And normally these two lines go across and they attach onto the fuel rail approximately here uh, on the uh, side of the engine. <clears throat> uh, coming in, this is below um, where your uh, scuttle tray uh, normally is. Uh, in here is the uh, the main ECU uh, for the car it's in a, a weather tight uh, box. Uh, obviously we've uh, we've removed that along with the uh, with the engine. Uh, but that's what normally goes in there, and you've normally got a big wiring loom that comes out of the uh, out of the back here, comes all the way across the uh, the uh, front here, and comes out of the other side, and then comes into the engine and goes off in various different uh, directions. Uh, we've got our brake uh, reservoir master cylinders there. Uh, obviously, that doesn't uh, change whether your engine's removed or not. Uh, next to that, obviously, is where your battery goes. And then over in the uh, over in the far corner there, in this little box, <coughs> that's the uh, box for your pollen filter. So you, you can just pop the lid off, slide the uh, lid forward, uh, replace the pollen filter. Uh, nice and simple on this car. Uh, at the back of the uh, bulkhead, a couple of lines to point out here as well. Uh, these are a couple of things. Um, again, you, you'll you'll if you're interested in the uh, the engine removal video, you'll see see all this in in much more detail. Uh, but here's the uh, the coolant line that attaches into the back of the engine, and uh, this is the uh, ATF uh, line as well uh, uh, for feeding ATF um, to the gearbox. Uh, both of those need to be uh, disconnected at a kind of halfway stage during the the engine removal process. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, obviously, you've got your uh, your ABS pump. Uh, again, that doesn't really change too much. Uh, washer fluid bottle. Uh, you've got your um, power steering uh, here, which obviously we disconnect um, as part of the uh, the engine removal process. Uh, down hidden in behind here is is the lower tank for your uh, washer fluid, and it has like a, a little um, secondary tank, that kind of rectangular one, just in the uh, corner as well, with a, with a pump on it uh, on the S4. So you've actually got three tanks for uh, for the uh, washer fluid on these, and then you've got the uh, the intercooler here on the other side. Uh, last thing to point out, uh, we'll have a quick look in the uh, in the middle here, <coughs> just because we've got nice uh, clear access to it. So obviously this is your uh, this is your subframe uh, around here, and uh, coming across the uh, the front here is your anti roll bar. Uh, so you can see the um, this kind of uh, bracket that holds in the 
the engine mounts is one big thing and it also uh, holds the mounts for the uh, the anti roll bar there as well and you've got various um, heat heat shielding uh, all the way around the engine and if, and if you look down kind of underneath you can see that goes uh, quite a long way back or pretty much all the way to be honest and you can see hanging at the back there uh, we have the um, prop shaft uh, so obviously that needs to be disconnected to remove the uh, the engine and gearbox as well so there you go guys, I think that's covered uh, most of the various kind of uh, components that are, that are left uh, once the, uh, the engine's uh, been removed. Uh, like I said, we will add a link for you uh, for the full um, engine removal video. Uh, so if you ever need to remove one of these BBKs, they, they can... Um, they can be a little bit dicky due to the uh, the cam cam chain setup. So unfortunately, if you're having cam chain issues and you do need to remove one, uh, you might want to check out that video. So check out the link below, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.